guys welcome back to uh, this tutorial series my name is William and let us continue in our last uh, tutorial we had uh, reached at a place where we could be able to submit a uh, user's phone number and email uh, to the Laravel backend and as you can see we were getting a company created successfully but uh, that one is not really true because we are not really creating the company. We are only having the data reach uh, the server. So we go to controllers, company, controller.php. This is where we would like us to put code for uh, saving our data now. So you say, uh, I would like to create a model and the model we will call it company so let us go down here and uh, we I want us to php let us clear uh, php artisan make model and then you will do you will tag the migration uh, in order for you to create the migration also so I press enter uh, I have not put the, the name of the model so let us do it again PHP RT Sun make uh, model and the model I want us to create is company model I want us to tag migrations so the company's table has been created successfully uh, I would like us to continue in a short while hello welcome back um, so we have uh, created a migration for the company's table what we need to do is also go to the environment file so you go down to where we have env and then here i would like you to set your database and for me i have called this one lara view because it is the one that uh, is similar to the name of uh, the project i'm working on and uh, then after that you ensure your your server is running that is apache and mysql the way they are then you visit localhost uh, local host uh, PHP my admin and then here you'll be able to find uh, where you can be able to set up your your database and as you can see I have the database called Laraview so you can create yours go to new and uh, put the name here so mine is already created so I will not go into creating it again uh, but you can put the database here and hit create it you create it the next thing is to do migrations so we open terminal and here I can say uh, we can go to first of all before doing the migrations we can go to the companies table under database migrations create company table the last migration that we have run this one and here you can do uh, table name string and the string uh, the table column will be called name and then uh, again even the, the the email will still be a string uh, email we can set it as unique but for now let it just be table even the phone number we store it as a string and we call it phone and then that is it it so you go to our model 
so you go to up then here down here where we have company.php the model that we had created and inside here we can protected fillable fillable and put in an array of values that we, we will be adding to the database so name email then finally finally the phone so like that. then we go back to our controller and in the controller we will do HT we go to http company controller here where we are having the function to store our request i'll just say uh, company create and inside here we can put the array of values so uh, we can say request all so it you bring everything from request and insert it into the database I believe if everything is alright, then we are good to go. But up here we can uh, also import. So use app, uh, company. That is the model for that is uh, attached to this uh, company controller that you'll be saving uh, the data that you'll be uploading from the form. So I'd like us to go back to the form and refresh. And so far so good, everything seems good. So the name, you say my company. The phone, you can put a phone number 07, whatever, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It has exceeded even by one, but it's okay. The email, you can put... Uh, one is just a valid email submit and uh, we are having an error I don't know why we are having an error it is saying field name doesn't have a default value uh -huh. insert into company submitted that created that only that so probably we can uh, decide to define uh, this request a little bit more seriously not the way we are doing so we can say name uh, name name will be request name name and uh, you, you copy and paste it severally for the other values so copy uh, you paste the same thing right so we have email you be request email you have phone you be request Email uh, m at m dot com and submit. 
as you can see company created successfully so now we have been able to save our data in the database and i would like us to head to the database and check so under lara view and we go to companies uh, it's taking a while you can see we have my company m at m.com and the phone number and the timestamps so uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial uh, in our next tutorial we will be looking at uh, uh, getting uh, editing the data that we have just saved so maybe probably I can create another company such that at least we have two or maybe three so another company we can call it ABC ABC company and uh, the phone is uh, zero email is a uh, abc at abc dot com and we can submit that one as you can see company created successfully so we have uh, the data twice inserted twice maybe the other thing that i would like to mention is a uh, resetting because as you can see as we submit the data remains there so we can set it to null such that uh, it you give us an opportunity to put other data instead of doing refresh again so you go back to our component uh, yeah so and um, resources form dot view so after submitting the data successfully I think you have it here. I want us to do this dot name. We will set it to uh, null. Again, uh, so we will set it to null. Again, this dot email. We will also set it to. So set it to empty string such that we clear our data, our form. So let us refresh. Okay, we have an error. Console. I think uh, the error is created by the semicolon. So let me remove them and leave them like that we see if it will be okay or if you still have an error we still have an error so we can put comma don't know if that is okay also am I saving expected okay so let us check again i don't know why i'm having a problem with that uh, have i saved let me see if let me pause and check there is him when it uh, welcome back uh my bad i had uh, made a mistake here as you can see we are having these ones uh, okay whereby we are equating to an empty string but here i put something else so small mistakes can uh, cost somebody some time anyway so that is the case so this one will be able to reset our form I believe so so let us refresh and then give it a try so xyz company uh, company and the phone 
also comment it shows me that uh, you are out there and then also if you have any challenge you can be able to uh, ask uh, whatever question you have on the comment section and I can be able to find a way of assisting you I thank you very much uh, in our next lesson uh, in our next uh, tutorial maybe we will continue uh, look into editing uh, the data that we have sent to the database and then also uh, after editing, being able to show it and also being able to delete all those things I would like to show you such that uh, we at the end of uh, these uh, several tutorials you have a complete overview of uh, CRUD functionality with Laravel and View. Thank you very much. Uh, may you have a good time.